Okay, to get started, we're gonna lay ourselves down on our mats, on our backs. Bring both knees in towards the chest. Good squeeze and hug. And then you're gonna release that left leg out in front of you, straight. Keep your right knee hugged in. Now, this right knee is gonna go over towards your left hand side. So you're setting up for a spinal twist. Don't forget to breathe. So we've got left hand onto the right knee. Take a deep inhale. And on your exhale, bring this knee all the way over towards your left hand side. It may or may not touch the floor. Don't worry about it. If you get any clicks or clacks in the back, just embrace them. <laughs> and just let this right hand flop out to the side there. Should feel really good. Then come back to the center and we're gonna change sides. Hug this left knee in. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like my back gets arched, like my butt sticks out when I do that one. So I have to kind of uh, adjust that area. <laughs> and then lift this left knee up towards your shoulder, straighten out your right leg, and then guide this left knee all the way over towards the right. Lots of deep breaths. Good. Should feel like a really nice, just a nice rinse out there for the back. And then come back towards the center. Now, from here, I feel like I'm just, just doing lots of adjustments there. So we're gonna lift our right leg up towards the sky, okay? Now I've started off with my left knee bent, but that's because I'm kind of warming up and I haven't really got started yet. And we're gonna interlace the hands around the right hamstring. Now the trick is with this one is we want the leg to follow the alignment of the hip slash shoulder. We never want this foot coming in towards the center line, okay? So allow that tracking to happen right there in alignment there with the shoulder and with the hip. If the leg starts furiously shaking, that's not a good thing. We wanna make sure the whole time that the leg feels just nice and long. You can point those toes, you can flex the foot by the way, it's up to you, and there's no shaking happening. It, it tends to mean that you're kind of, you've gone too far and you're hanging off of a nerve or something. That's not good, all right? Now, if you feel comfortable, straighten out your left leg out there in front. So don't yank on this leg, nothing crazy like that. Just as you are right now is where you're meant to be. Now we're gonna change sides. So I start off with both knees bent. Lift your left leg up, interlace your hands around your left hamstring. And in fact, I'm gonna pause right here. I was gonna be a bit quick and go straight out your leg, but no, let's give this side a chance. We gave the right hand side a chance. We wanna do the same with the left. Nice deep breath. So sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I feel like stretching can be really boring. I know that's really bad, but that's why I got into yoga. Straighten out your right leg if you want to. You can walk the hand towards the calf. You can even give the calf a nice massage, get in there. Um, but yeah, that's why I got into yoga is because I really like stretching. Or well, one of the reasons why I got into yoga is because I really like stretching, but I found the boredom. There was no boredom in yoga. Whereas sometimes with stretching, I'm not gonna lie, I can, my mind can start to wander. Very easily done. Okay, whenever you're ready, oh, now you're gonna come into Baddha or Supta Baddha So you wanna kiss the soles of the feet together, allow your knees to drift out to the sides, walk your heels up towards the backside, hands onto the thighs, allowing the knees to just drift out still. Nice deep breaths, press the edges of the feet deep into the floor, firm the buttocks and lift the hips off the ground. See how that feels. Keep pressing the feet together. Keep pressing the feet down. Those two actions there and open up the hips. Good. So this one I find isn't like super duper stretchy, but a nice way of opening up the hips and let, letting them know what they're in for. Slowly lower the hips down. Okay, so whenever you're ready, roll yourself up to come to a seated position. Now, with we're gonna take um, forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Um, and when I've been in a lot of classes, they teach it where the feet are together, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. But for a lot of us that aren't the most flexible, the closer the feet are together, the harder it becomes. And if anything, you know, when you're practicing, you know, yoga, or you're just, you're on your mat, stretching, whatever you're doing, it's all about confidence and making sure that you feel like, yeah, I'm getting somewhere with this rather than just feeling stuck. It's just horrible. So we're gonna separate the feet, if you want to, you can join me in this one, about shoulder width apart. 
We flex the feet because it really gets into the Achilles nicely with that stretch and the calves too, but you can point the toes if you wish to. We're gonna inhale, reach the hands up nice and high, lengthen out through the spine, navel to spine now, and then slowly come down. So either hands, to, uh, hands on the floor, hands to feet, maybe you found them, or maybe you're all the way up here and that's absolutely fine. Okay, wherever you are, don't worry about it. Just accept where you are, whether you know you're like, oh damn, I need to stretch out more, that's okay. Now consistency is key. I'm so sorry to break that news to you, but it might mean that you just need to do a little bit more and often if you're finding that you're struggling with these. Keep flexing the feet. I understand for some people it's not so easy to grab the toes, but I've got a long body and short leg ratio, so it's, it's gonna be easier for me to find the feet. Now, if you found the feet or the ankles, gently, gently pull on them just a little bit here, just to feel like you're moving forwards and downwards. Relax the neck now, so you don't want to be looking up the whole time, you're ruining your neck. Shoulders moving away from the ears. One last breath. And whenever you're ready, slowly come up. Now I'm gonna face you guys. So I'm gonna bring the legs nice and wide. I hope I haven't got any holes in my leggings. We're all good. Okay, so the trick is with this one is not to go to your widest capacity. I know that sounds really strange, but when you do that and you're like, Ooh, yeah, I'm there, you won't feel like you're able to move very far. <laughs> so you wanna make sure you just Taking in a, a little bit, you know, taking in a notch, yeah, on either side. Flex the feet, and another tip for this one is to not let your feet rotate in. No, 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 don't do that. So you don't want your thighs, your knees, and your toes to rotate in the more you're moving forwards. You wanna make sure in this one that your toes, your kneecaps still face the sky whilst you are in your forward fold. So we take a nice big inhale. And on the exhale, start moving down. Can you see I'm kind of creeping forwards? I hate saying that. There should be a better teaching cue for that one. I'm walking the hands forwards. Creeping just sounds weird. No one likes to creep. So again, I'm gonna make sure that the toes and the knees are getting that external rotation, moving backwards, whilst they're moving forwards and down. So you can be on the palms, you can be down on the elbows, you can be flat at the pancake if you want to. Now, um, Number one, I'm not gonna lie, I can't go flat as a pancake, no. But number two, I also don't wanna go down any lower and then I'm just muffling, so because of like, yeah, you guys need to be able to hear me still. So I'm gonna be at maintain up here and I'm happy with that. Where am I feeling it? I'm feeling it all here. You should be the same, right? Are you feeling it all along the inner thighs? Don't tell me you're feeling it like in your big toe, then you're obviously like, I don't know what you're doing with that stretch, but yeah, you should be feeling it all on the insides of the legs. Nice deep breaths. I don't feel it too much in the back, but I can feel that it's good for my back. Does that make sense? Whenever you're ready, slowly come up. Okay. Have you ever come out of the stretch and gone, wow, okay, <laughs> I needed that one. We're gonna side stretch into this one, okay? Now we're gonna take um, we mirror, I'm mirroring you, aren't I? So we'll take the right hand to run down the right leg, okay, all the way down, somewhere toward the ankle, maybe even the toes, and then soften this right shoulder and right elbow down, all right? That's the trick. You want to get down nice and low. Now open up and find that rotation there. Pull your left shoulder towards the back and your left set of ribs towards the back. Reach up with your left hand and then over. Nice deep breath. So don't cheat with this one. You still want to try and press your left butt cheek into the floor. Yeah. Come back up. And we're going to go over towards the other side. Sit yourself up nice and tall. You've got left hand running down the left leg. Bend into that left elbow. Soften the left shoulder. As you've come down, you've made it this far. Now find that rotation there of the ribs moving back and the shoulder moving back here on this right side. Reach that right hand up and then side stretch over. Again, nice deep breaths. Good. 
Take one more breath. And slowly come up. So that's the key with all of this, is you've got to breathe. Nice big inhales, long exhales. Get as much oxygen as you can in your body. And the more that you breathe, the more that your body will interpret this as a relaxing and safe situation. And that's where you get the best from your body, is because it starts trusting you. It goes, oh, this isn't so bad after all, I'm liking this. And then you find you can go a little bit deeper and a little bit further. It's when you start holding your breath and limiting it that your body interprets all of this as a stressful situation and says, no thanks, I don't want to, all the guard, your guard and everything is up. And that's why you don't get the most out of your stretches or your yoga practice, for example. Okay, so a little quick tip there, make sure you breathe all the way through. Okay, so I'm bringing the legs in. Ah, I can really feel that.